here we have defined something about the force in our previous class saying that force is a push or pull given to a body which changes the state or tends to change the state that is how we have defined the force now here how many such type of forces exist that means by means of what physical quantity that means what type of force the body is changing its state in order to know that we should know something about types of forces so here we look at something about the types of forces today so here based on the nature of interaction so we have already defined we have already given the concept of force as in order to act that means in order to a force be present there should be two bodies that should be interacting with each other so based upon that interaction so the interaction can be either by touching themselves or without touching themselves likewise so many possibilities are present here based upon such type of interaction you can classify the forces into two types one is called as contact force the other one is non contact force that means in simple how many types of forces are present broadly you can discuss as based on the nature of interaction between two bodies forces can be classified into two major types one is contact force the other one is non contact force so what does it mean by a contact force see here contact force can be in terms of the bodies in touch with each other meaning that whenever they are in contact meaning that when they are touching each other so contact force comes into play when the bodies are touching each other here these contact forces can be further classified into varieties of types out of them i'm just giving two cases one is muscular force the other one is frictional force these two can be treated as the examples of contact forces contact of forces in the sense the bodies are in contact with each other here i can define a contact force is the force that comes into play when the bodies touch each other here one of the examples is muscular muscular force here muscular force is due to the action of muscles so our body is made of muscles because of the action of muscles whatever the force is exerted that is called as muscular force here see as an example i can take walking walking on a road is possible due to the movement of muscles that is the reason muscles are responsible for walking running etc similarly when a bird flies when a bird flies it its wings are expanded so when it is landing on the ground wings are contracted so expansion and contraction of wings by a bird are due to the muscles expansion and contraction that means it is also a contact force so the muscles are in contact muscles are playing the role on its wings likewise so all the bodies are in contact in that case similarly pulling of a cart by a horse so a horse is tied to the cart so cart and horse are in contact that is the reason horse is pulling the cart and which comes under a contact force because the bodies are in contact similarly the second type of i mean second example of contact force can be frictional force so when do the friction comes into play when does the friction come into play here frictional force comes into play when a body is moving on rough surfaces that means if at all you are walking on ice block it is easy to walk because there is no friction it's a smooth surface so unlike that if you are walking on a road you have to use some force to walk because the road is rough so it is difficult to walk on a sand compared to your concrete road because there is a lot of friction in case of the sand that is the reason the surfaces if they are rough then frictional force comes into play and your 
feet are in contact with the rough surfaces. Therefore, it comes under a broad category called contact force. As an example, I can take here, whenever a body is moving, a vehicle, let us suppose, a vehicle is moving and if you are not applying any force, that means you are not applying any acceleration, you have not applied the brakes, you have not applied the acceleration, but still, because of the roughness of the road, it exerts a friction on it which opposes its motion. That's the reason this vehicle will be stopped after traveling certain distance because of opposing force. That opposing force is the frictional force and frictional force is a contact force because the force exerted by the road on the body. That means body and road are in contact. So that's the reason frictional force also comes into a contact force category. So these are the examples for contact force. Then the other category of force is non-contact force. Non-contact force means you can have the force acting between the two bodies even if they are in touch with each other. That means comes into play when objects are at a distance. That means you can check the two bar magnets placed farther apart. Then when you are slowly moving towards the non-contact force is the force that comes into play when objects are at distance. That means when two magnets are placed farther apart, then because of their magnetic poles nature, if at all both the north poles are facing each other, then there exists a repulsive force. That is the reason the, the magnets will move apart. That is what? A repulsive force. Unlike that, if at all south pole and north pole, that means opposite poles are facing towards each other, there exists an attraction. So, north pole and north pole are not in contact exactly, but because of the influence, they are repelled. And here also, because of the influence, they are attracted. That means there exists a force, though they are not in contact with each other. Such forces come under non-contact force because they are not touching each other, still there exists a force. Similarly, coming to the electrical forces, when charges are at rest, similar charges when they are placed nearby at a certain distance apart, then there exists a repulsion because similar charges repel. That is the reason these two charges try to move apart. Whereas, if you keep the opposite charges, one positive and one negative charge, they try to attract each other. That means here there exists a repulsive force, here there exists an attractive force. And here in all the cases, you can see that the bodies are not in contact. That is the reason the magnetic force and electrostatic force come under non-contact forces. That means in brief you can classify all the forces into two types one is contact force the other one is non-contact force and here contact force in case of the contact force the bodies are in contact with each other and in case of non-contact force the bodies are not in touch with each other they are at a distance still there exists a force the examples of contact force are muscular force and frictional force Similarly, the examples of non-contact forces are magnetic force and electrostatic force. This is how you can discuss the nature of forces. I mean, in how many types the force can be categorized. Broadly, it is into two types.